I'm Joy from Expert Boxing here to do a review of the Rival RB10 boxing gloves. So if you don't know about Rival, they're a Canadian company, they do some great stuff. I'm a huge fan of Rival because they do uh, very innovative boxing products. They do their own gloves, their own headgear, they has their own design, unique styling, unique like technology, they do, they do innovative things that I love to see. Um, I hate to see boxing companies that, oh we just started a new company and they just copy somebody else's gloves, they copy somebody else's gear. And, and try to make money, right? So I like to see companies that bring something new to our sport. We need better protection, we need better gear, and I love to see that a company's out there is trying to do it. And not only that, but Rival has very stylish stuff. They have their own very like unique kind of look that, um, you know, that, that you can't copy, right? The moment you try to copy them, it's kind of obvious who you're copying. So uh, let's get started with the RB10 gloves. So first off, uh, what do I like about this? This is a strap, it fits like that. I'll do a review on them, put them on my site. Very comfortable. Uh, I love their wrist design. I love the support, the security, the padding is good. Everything feels great. These gloves are specifically made only for bag work and they work perfectly fine for bag work. Now, um, you know, uh, you can see the thumb, the way they built the, the thumb. A lot of them, they, they use a little tiny little leather strap that over time stresses the glove and it tears at that point here. They just put like a, a web thumb. Kind of like a like a baseball catcher's mitt. Um, the mesh, I'm not a big fan of mesh. I don't like mesh. Why? Because when this floats around, this thing hits the mesh, it's gonna shred the mesh over time. Your Velcro will shred the mesh. I guarantee you, it's not gonna last as long. But, but you know, this mesh actually seems pretty like like more durable, right? More high quality than most others. Um, strap, you know, some people may feel like this is flimsy. I feel like it's good. Like it, it, it can secure very tight and based on the shape of your wrist. Right, let me do it from this angle, and, and I pull, and I pull, and boom. So it feels very secure. Um, I love the gloves. They're, they're, you know, Rival's one of my favorite brands out there. Now, what do I not like about these gloves? So the first thing I don't like about Rival's gloves is that they believe in, in padding the gloves uh, just in, you know to go by size rather than by weight. So back in the old days, uh, you know, it was 12 ounce, 14 ounce, 16 ounce gloves because that's how much the gloves weigh when you put in more filling, more horse hair. But now, because we don't need to put horse hair, we don't need 16 ounces of horse hair to give that much protection. We could do 10 ounces of padding or latex or whatever. We have this scenario where, ooh, what, what, should, what should we be true to? Should we be true to the amount of protection? or true to the weight. So Rival has chosen to make gloves that are true to the protection. So this is a size large glove, right? And it weighs only like 10 ounces. Um, I, I, I don't have the weight here, it's very light. Whereas uh, typically like let's say like a large fighter would probably use 18 ounce gloves. So because of that, the gloves feel different. Um, they feel very, very different. They feel very light. I feel it does take away from my workout a little bit. Um, if you like the feel of light gloves, Rivals were perfect for that, but you know, I prefer to have, I personally prefer to have a, just a little more weight on my arms. I don't know why, it's just what I like, it's what I'm used to, it's what I grew up with, so I, I'm accustomed to that. Um, also too, uh, they have the D3O uh, material. If you haven't, uh, just check up, check, watch the videos on it. It's pretty impressive how well it absorbs impact and all that. Other things, you know, I wish the material was like more pure leather. They use a lot of plastic. The glove is made in China. And you know, China is not really made for quality leather. They're not known for that, right? So they, they probably have better quality plastic than leather. Uh, Rival argues that their plastic lasts just as long as leather. And you know what? I have seen some very old beat up Rival gloves and they're still held together well, despite the million seams and all that, which I do not approve of, they actually have held together pretty well. So I still like Rival, but I would much prefer an actual like 16 ounce gloves to beat the bag with. Anyway, if you like this video or you'd like to see other great boxing guides or tips, check out my website, expertboxing.com. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.